I know we want to have things figured out so we can move on, but some things are so foundational, so basic, so vital to our core that we, we cannot move on. We cannot give them up. And I hope that Merton's words can be an encouragement to all of us, that whether we feel completely inadequate in our spiritual life, or, or we feel like we're in a, a good season, a good season of good rhythms and, and good practices, we will never be anything but beginners with the posture of always learning and always growing and always becoming and with a need for God that will always be just beyond what we can express. In the words of the Apostle Paul, which we heard earlier, he said, Brothers and sisters, I myself don't think I've reached it, but I, I do this one thing. I forget about the things behind me and reach out for the things ahead of me. And the goal I pursue is, is, God, is the prize of God's upward call in Christ Jesus. So all of us who are spiritually mature should think this way, and if anyone thinks differently, God will reveal it to him or her. Only let's live in a way that is consistent with whatever level we have reached. Over the next three weeks, we'll, we'll talk about some of the basics, some of the foundational practices or spiritual disciplines that Christians, that followers of Jesus have leaned on for hundreds of years in different countries and cultures and different contexts and circumstances to enable them to experience and share that whole life, health, and flourishing that Jesus promised when he said he came to know all, that we all might know life to the full. And just as we did in last fall series, we'll use the lenses of our church's core practices, worship, community, and mission.